Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today I will be showing you how to create a website page that shows statistics of a particular area. First, we're going to go open Google Chrome in an incognito window. Then we're going to go to agent.kw.com to log into command. Then we're going to enter our username that is not case sensitive, so you don't have to enter any capital letters. Next, we're going to enter our password, which of course is case sensitive, and click sign in. I always like to click accept cookies in the banner at the bottom just to get it out of the way. Next we're going to click on the consumer app. When in doubt you can always click the red square with the white KW to expand the names of the applets in case you forget. You may also have to zoom out if you still can't see consumer because sometimes you're so zoomed in it's actually not able to be shown. So once we click consumer, in the top right corner we're going to click create a new site. Then we're going to click on my agent site then create page. First I always suggest naming your page. I'm going to name mine with the city, state, and what it is. Next we're going to go over to the right in the widgets section and we're going to click and hold on the market snap widget and then drag until we see this green bar at the top of the workspace on the left and then release. Here you'll see the Barton Hills neighborhood trends. This is just what auto populates, what it defaults to. This is in Austin, Texas, where Keller Williams Realty International is. Next, we're going to go down to this bottom right here and click Configure Widgets. Then we're going to click New Market Snap, the name of the widget that we're configuring. And then we're going to enter the name that we want, the header which I'm just going to make match with the name of the document. Next, we're going to enter the zip code. And then if you would like, you can then choose a neighborhood to narrow it down even further. Then you can save and apply. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video and replay whenever you catch back up. Remember, this is a recording, so you are free to do that whenever you would like. Once you click Save and Apply, you'll see your header and the map and the statistics, then populate with all of that information. Then we're going to click Save Changes. Would you like to continue to cite an app settings to publish your page? Click Yes. And it'll take you over to Consumer, Site Pages, and where you'll see your site page settings. Then in this bottom left corner here, we're going to click Add Page. And we're going to choose the page that we just created, should be right at top, and click Continue. 
Next, we're going to title our page. Be sure to delete what's already in there. And again, I'm going to name it exactly what I named the design, what I put in the header, etc. Next, we're going to enter in the URL slug. And you can put anything you would like here. It's a unique URL. So it'll show up after the backslash at the end of your site. and then the SEO description. Again, don't forget to delete what's already in there. And then click Save. Settings were updated successfully. So now you'll be able to highlight this address, right click, and click go to this address to be able to see your web page. Feel free to email us if you have any questions at support at scottleroymarketing.com. And as always, thank you for watching.